Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Smith. I will be your host today on Nurse Tech Podcast. And today we are interviewing Renee Omoyeni. Hi Renee. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great. So tell us here on Nurse Tech Podcast. I wanna know more about your story as a nurse. How did you get started and what inspired you to become a nurse? Awesome, well thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Um, I have been a nurse for about 12 years now and it's funny because i feel like i i've always known that i wanted to be a nurse one of those kind of cheesy stories um, i don't remember ever wanting to be anything else besides a teacher when i was in elementary school and so um, i really just followed my dream and decided to pursue nursing and um, really didn't have um, any type of i guess contact with nurses that i can really recall where I could ask questions and learn more about the career. Other than I had a favorite show that was called um, Rescue 911 when I was young. And I used to watch it and a baby story on TLC. And I remember just loving and enjoying what the nurses did. Like I always was so curious about what, um, what the roles of you know nurses had. And um, I just continued on with the process and I ended up um, going to nursing school in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm originally from Orlando and um, that's where everything began. Just took a, a love for med surge is where I started and joined the army and um, worked as a army nurse for about four years and got into infusion nursing, case management. Um, and it's been, it's been a wild ride. It's been fun though. That's really cool. And you mentioned wanting to be an educator, like a teacher. I think most nurses are educators at heart. Exactly. And that's what I love about nursing is that you really like that education and teaching never goes away. Um, so I really enjoyed the more I learned about nursing and got involved that it really is the educator, educator role as well as nursing. So, um, yeah, awesome. I agree. Renee, tell us what is Compass RN? What it's what is its mission vision? How did you come up with the idea? Sure. So Compass RN is um, a five hundred one c three nonprofit, and um, we're based in Houston, Texas. And basically, our our vision is to increase minority representation in the field of nursing. Um, and I really became I, I I came up with the idea just after it was during COVID, so we had plenty of time, of course, to think and to dream and um, just to think about what do I want to do with my life? What do I want to do when I when I grow up? And I've always really enjoyed being a mentor. I'm the youngest of four children. And um, as soon as I became 18, I was like, I want to be a mentor. I want to help out middle schoolers. And it just continued throughout the year. Um, and I um, continued on just working as a nurse and I would always encounter, of course, nursing students and um, graduate nurses. And I would talk to them and found that a lot of what I struggled with in my prerequisite journey, they were struggling with as well. Um, so I was just a mess during my prereqs. Um, I had a lot of drive, a lot of motivation, but really had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> um, learning and understanding I was a first generation college student and just the barriers there that I didn't even really think were barriers. I thought I was just hustling. I thought I was just doing what I was supposed to do. And um, really understanding, no, it doesn't have to be that difficult. You don't have to take classes more than once because you're not organized, you're not prepared, um, you don't really have the college readiness mind frame um, really to pursue things in the most effective way for myself, just for myself. So um, I really started to just do research and again found that a lot of students over 15 years later were doing some of the same things that I was doing. They were taking their um, pre-entrance exams more than once and just barely passing, right? Not being competitive, not having competitive GPAs. Um, and I found that the majority of those students were minority. They were, they looked just like me. Um, so I really just combined my love for mentorship and my love for nursing and then my struggle of my prerequisite journey and birthed 
compass are in. And so that vision of increasing minority representation comes with so many different components. So really starting before a student even becomes a college student, like how can we better prepare you before your transition to college from high school? How can we better prepare, you know, prepare you to be a competitive nursing applicant, to be um, a prepared student so that you're not barely trying to make it. You know, you're really equipped with some tools that will really effectively help you throughout your journey. And it's a program that won't be for everyone. Some people are, you know, they're driven, they have great resources, even if they have barriers, right? They still find a way to persevere and to, you know, still reach their goals without having any extreme difficulties at the beginning. Um, but Compass RN is really for those programs, like the little girl like me, who um, you had you had the, the drive, but you could have used some guidance. You could have used a mentor just to help you along the way. So the mission is to um, provide students um, in underserved, underprivileged areas uh, with the awareness of nursing. Like, what does a nurse do? You say you want to be a nurse, but have you ever had a conversation with a nurse? Um, do you know what it takes to go to nursing school? Do you understand the process? So really providing students with the awareness of the, um, of the career, of the field, and that's going into the classroom, talking to students, introducing them to nurses. Um, and then we also have an access portion. So providing students with the access to the nursing community is how we call it. So just being able to talk to nurses, going to a hospital and seeing what does a hospital look like inside? If you've never been in a hospital and you think you wanna be a nurse, are you okay with some of the smells that you're gonna encounter? Are you okay with dealing with bodily fluids? Um, I find that a lot, a lot of students, they really don't know. They have this kind of idea and this dream of what they see on TV or what they see online. But I have to remind them that it's not always glamorous. You're gonna have days that you really don't like what you're doing, but you love being a nurse, but you have to push past that. So the access is providing students with field trips. We're in the Houston Med Center. So really um, taking advantage of the type of resources that we have here. Um, we have a summer nurse camp, um, providing students with that opportunity. There are several nurse camps around the country, um, but wh what happens is students that are in those underserved communities, they probably or not even probably they don't hear about those opportunities because they may cost eight hundred dollars up to four thousand dollars so providing a camp where we remove the barrier of the financial aspect um, and then finally there's mentorship that starts in their junior year and it extends all the way until they become a nurse so having that long-term mentorship throughout their journey so that basically is what compass rn is it's a lot of guidance and support for students Wow, I can see this really inspiring folks. You mentioned, you know, those who, the minority, those who are underserved, you've got that motivation, you've got that drive. If I heard you right, you said you were like one of the first ones to go to college in your family, you're the youngest of four. Yes. So just imagine of those listening today saying, oh my gosh, that's my story and I want to be a nurse. And is it okay if I face those barriers and those challenges because I can't find any support for my family because no one else went to school. So your message was, yes, it is more to it than just being a nurse. Like you've got, you're going to face those barriers, those challenges. There's a lot to being a nurse and it's okay if you have to take that entrance exam more than once. So I like your message and I know it, it's going to speak to those listening. So thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. I'm interested in learning more about the nurse camps because that's the first I've heard of it. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? You said sometimes it may, may cost around 800 bucks. Is that right? Correct. Correct. So the, the, um, our summer nurse camp, it, um, we had our first one this past July and we had 35 students from a local um, school district and we interviewed them to find out their interests about nursing and um, came up with this concept of just allowing them to talk to as many nurses as they could. So just about all of the students, when we interviewed them, we um, one of the questions was, have you ever spoken to a nurse before? Um, and I would say 95% of them said no. They had never had a conversation and um, the majority of the students were seniors. And so uh, that was something that we really wanted to incorporate is we wanted to almost not flood them with nurses, but we wanted to really 
um, just surround them with nurses to ask questions and to learn about the different specialties that are within nursing outside of just being a, a nurse from what you see on TV and a nurse when you go to your local doctor's office. Like nursing is so broad. There's so many different things that you can do. So really exposing students to different types of nurses and nurses that look like them. So having Hispanic and African-American and Asian nurses come in and talk to them. Um, so the nurse panel was a huge component. And then we also had a hands-on skills portion where they learn how to um, tie a tourniquet, um, how to take a manual blood pressure, how to insert an IV. So things that you sometimes, I know for myself, I didn't, I didn't um, spike an IV bag, sadly, until I had already graduated nursing. <laughs> so these are like big things that they were able to do that they didn't even really know that this is what nurses do. So, um, like I said, the big barrier that we've removed for our campus to remove that financial um, aspect and to really allow students to have a great experience um, by learning from nurses in the community. Uh, we didn't want it to be, um, this is the Compass Iron Camp and we only have nurses from our little circle. We really wanted to branch out into our community of the Med Center and bring in nurses from all different um, clinics and hospitals and really allow students to just be inspired and be excited about becoming a nurse. I feel like there's a lot of fear of, oh, I'm so scared to go to school and fail. And like, wh where is that? What? Why? You have like, you haven't even graduated high school yet. You have a lot of time just to have fun, like fall in love with the career. So that's basically what our nurse camp is. And it was, it was amazing. Amazing. So it gives them hands on. It gives them support. If they want to ask people about what it's like being a nurse, it gives them that opportunity. So I know that there are going to be people listening in today and they want to know more about Compass RN and the nurse camps. How does the program work? How can people get signed up? Sure. So um, you can start by going on our website, compassrn.org. Um, our Instagram, our Facebook, you can, you know, go there. We have some videos of the summer nurse camp um, of some of the field trips that we've taken. We took one field trip to the, for the forensic center of excellence where students learned and heard from forensic nurses. Um, so that's, that's a great start just to kind of put all the words that I'm saying um, into a visual piece. And the program basically works, works. We start in the eighth grade. We've expanded to middle school students because wow. we're understanding it's the earlier and the sooner, the better by just coming in the classroom. And it's interesting. It has been interesting when we've spoken to students, um, even in the senior year, have you ever, and again, it goes back to that question. Have you talked to a nurse? Do you have a nurse that, that's that's coming to the school and talk to you. No, we've heard from doctors. We've heard from different healthcare professionals, but I'm like, where are the nurses? You know, like we need to be, I feel like um, highlighted more at that middle school and high school level. So at least here from what I've experienced in Houston. So, um, but just to start off, we start with the awareness in eighth grade, ninth and 10th grade. Um, they're introduced to that summer nurse camp. But then we have ongoing um, year round um, opportunities for students to learn more um, from nurses through like Skype, not Skype, but um, virtual interviews with nurses or conversations with nurses. We did a few of those um, over during the COVID time. Um, but that's that's basically how we get connected. And we really focus on the school districts, um, charter schools, and really just being more involved with um, showing students and meeting students and introducing them to Compass RN. But I would say the first start would be um, our website, compassrn.org. Okay, so compassrn.org, Facebook and Instagram. Correct. Okay. Renee, what can you say about the current nursing condition for nurses and how do you think Compass RN can strengthen the healthcare system today? So honestly, I feel like there is this uprising of nurses just speaking out more and um, just really speaking up for ourselves, right? I feel like, of course, we had the year of the nurse during COVID and the rest of the world was able to finally understand, I think, to take a deeper dive into what nurses deal with and um, the care of nurses and how we provide care. 
Um, so I think it really just kind of gutted out um, a lot of misconceptions of nurses. And it really started a revolution, I think, um, within the nursing family in the in the nursing community. And I just think that nurses are no longer being quiet about things that we need to speak up about all the way from the educational piece of better preparing nurses of the future all the way up to legislator you know the um, legislation excuse me um of the you know fair treatment of nurses and, and and everything that goes on with how nurses are um looked at and how we're treated so with compass rn i feel like our piece because there's so many different pieces. There's so many different components, of course, of the nursing shortage that we have. So I feel like with Compass RN, ours is um, providing more awareness to students. Like, do you really want to be a nurse? Like really giving them an inside look to what nurses um, deal with, the good and the bad, um, and better preparing them for the future with mentorship. You know, we have so many nurses that are leaving the field and exiting nursing. Um, of course, we have retirement, but then we have nurses who are just burnt out and tired. And I completely understand. Do I love my job 100 percent of the time? Of course not. But do I love being a nurse and do I love a career? Absolutely. So I feel like Compass RN, we really have um, a platform to be able to effectively inspire students but then to also provide them with the guidance that they need if you feel like you're being burnt out let's look into a different specialty for you maybe let's 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 focus on something else really having that mentor to talk to to vent to um, before things kind of get out of control so that's my hope with our program and our organization is that we really shine light on the rawness of nursing um and like i said the positive and the negatives and really be able to contribute um to the nursing shortage by providing nurses who are of minority race um, and really increase that number by just allowing students to get that access of yeah i want to be a nurse and i want to do this to really help my community and to help my patients so that's the biggest drive for Compass RN. Sounds like Compass RN is a support system. It helps to provide nurses, like you said, minority, provide awareness, the insight, gives you confidence to speak up, which ultimately can impact, like I said earlier, about strengthening the healthcare system. Correct. That's it. Mm -hmm. Renee, what are the major changes and challenges you face as a nurse entrepreneur and what have you learned? So I have learned a lot. It's been challenging. It's it's definitely come with its ups and downs. And I think my biggest challenge is um, just being able to kind of put on that business hat, you know, and the business eyes and the business mind. Um, I'm a very, I forget what it's called, like an ambivert. So I, I'm an extrovert, but I'm also introverted. So I don't, I love being around people, but then I need my time to just kind of, <laughs> chill out inside. So I think that um, it's really pushed me to the front where I'm used to and more comfortable just kind of being the back of the scenes. You know, I don't need to be doing an interview. I don't need to be in front of anybody. I, I just, I like this kind of being a support. So putting on the business hat has been, I think the most challenging for myself and um, being persistent. So knowing that we have all of these resources and knowing that nurses are open and nursing organizations and hospitals will be open to Compass RN, but it's just getting through the 800 doors and the 800 walls, talking to the right people, um, having the right people hear the story and be inspired by it and say, hey, you know what? Yes, I wanna let your students come in and talk to our nurses. Um, so that's been the biggest part for me of just kind of feeling like, you know, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but, and it's been, we've been in, um, we've had our organization for over a year now. So at the beginning, I was feeling like that. Now I've, I have a better understanding of this is what it looks like to run a nonprofit. These are the people that we need. I need to ask for help. I need to tell, you know, my supporting, um, my supporting community, this is what I need help with. And I've had a great, um, just a great amount of people just raise their hand and say, whatever you need me to do, I can do it. So being able to utilize them and 
voice exactly what I need, not just whatever you think or whatever you think is the best, you know, option for this. So it's been a journey. It's been a process. And um, I'm happy to say that we've started to make some really good connections and relationships um, in the nursing field here in Houston, and even outside of that. And um, we just, you know, are going on this journey and, and are believing and trusting in the Lord that we'll be able to expand and yeah. um, affect more and students. So, yeah. yeah, good for you for putting on that business hat. And like you said, trusting in God. Sometimes you have to have faith. You have to have courage and know that sometimes God puts those, um, I call it the fire in your heart. But sometimes you just know things need to be done. And look at you, you knew Compass RN, you knew what, the vision and you took that leap of faith and look look where it got you and the difference it's made. Exactly. I call them call them like God ideas and God dreams. Yes. He's not, it's not in vision sounds kind of, not weird, but a little deep, but they have really been like, god inspired ideas that i don't think have come from myself like mm-hmm. i i still work full time so trying to balance my my time and my work life balance of you know being a wife being a dog mom being you know just living and then also investing and putting my heart in everything into compass are in um but then also understanding that there has to be a balance and so there'll be moments that i have like these weird thoughts that pop up at like three o'clock in the morning i'm like well thank you okay i didn't think about that so i really feel like and and and, and understand that it's it's you know it's a driving force of my faith and it's not just myself um and i have to believe that you know, I'm being directed in the direction that's already been placed before me. So, um, yeah. I like the way you worded that. It's a driving force. Sometimes you just know. Sometimes you just know. Like you said, waking up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. and saying, thank you. I needed that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. When your brain is turned off and when you have nothing more to think about, it's those little drops that happen. So that's right. <laughs> Renee, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank so, you. what do you want the future of nursing to look like? The future of nursing, I just want students, again, Compass RN is a program that I wish I had <laughs> when I was going through my hot mess of a journey, to be frank. You know, I just. I just remember being so inspired and just so driven, but like I said, not knowing, you know, I, one of the things that I didn't mention along the journey is I um, started an LPN program that I felt out of. And I just thought my life was over. Like, I was just like, Oh my gosh, I just, I'm never going to be a nurse. And then, you know, my GPA wasn't where it needed to be. And I got so many denial letters from nursing schools and I just never thought it was going to happen. So when it happened and I started on that nursing school journey and even to this, you know, to almost, you know, 15 years later, um, I really have just been thankful for the journey. And so the future of nursing with Compass RN is I, like I said, and I keep repeating it, I want students to be inspired. And I feel like a lot of the inspiration that you have will drive you, but you need that support, right? No matter what form it is, if it's a program like Compass RN or if it's hands off and you just you ask for help whenever you need help, um, I think everybody along the nursing or on the nursing journey, they need help at some point. Some people struggle in their prereqs, some people struggle in their nursing school. Some people struggle with their NCLEX, you know, like everybody's story is different. Like you may have taken your NCLEX once, but you have to take an A&P three times. Like your journey is going to look different and there's no reason to judge others. Right. Um, So I really want Compass RN to um, really create a foundation for students at an early age where they know that I have Compass RN. I have my mentor. I have this whole community around me that's rallying, rallying and really pray, not praising, but just providing support that everybody needs, I think. Um, so the future of nursing is to make sure our students and um, across the country that students are guided, they have a mentor, um, and that they just are able to do anything they put their mind to when it comes to nursing, and that they are um, 
inspired by seeing more nurses that looked like them um, and just conquer the world of nursing and just be, you know, uh, change makers within our community. So it's my long answer to <laughs> love it to look like. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that response. Specifically, I like how you mentioned the journey, how our stories are not everybody's journey or story is going to be the same, but we need to embrace the journey, learn from each other. And it's, it helps. It makes the journey more worthwhile and it makes it just better when you've got that support from Compass RN. Exactly. And that's throughout the, that entire journey. So you may not have any issues. Like I have a student now who's a senior, excuse me, she's a freshman. It's a, her first time in college. And I'm not worried about her with her grades. You know, she's like, I'm a little bored. She's, you know, she took AP classes in high school. So I'm not worried about her, but I know at some point she's going to have some type of a struggle. It's not going to be an easy, easy road for her where nursing was not challenging at all. So I'm just waiting for that moment for her to say, hey, um, I think I need a little help. And that's that's what that's what Compass Iron is, is here for, you know? So um, I'm just excited. It really, it continues to inspire me with the nursing career and the nurses that um, have volunteered with our program and have talked to students. I think it kind of takes them back to that time of them being 17 and 16 and just having your eyes light up when you see a nurse walk into the room with their badge and their, you know, scrubs. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it takes you back because I, I do think it's easy to forget. It's easy to forget sometimes when you're on the nursing floor and you see nursing students in white, like how nervous, you know, and unsure you are about yourself, but even taking it back to high school, like where do those, where do those inspirations even begin? For some of our students, they have no inspiration. They have no one. They have no one that they've ever talked to in the healthcare field. And one thing that I'm thankful for is we've even met students who say, I don't want to be a nurse. After coming to the camp, after talking to 15 nurses, I don't want to do that. I don't want to care for people. I don't want to clean up behind someone. And that's okay. That's okay because at least you now, now you know before you invest your time and your money into going to college for, for nursing and not wanting to do it. So that's another piece that has been really eye-opening for myself because I'm like, you don't want to be a nurse? Like everybody should be a nurse. Right. And understanding that that's the awareness piece. We have some students that say, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a police officer after learning more about what nurses do. And that's okay. I still support you and I'm glad that now you know. So, sure. yeah. Well, thank you, Renee, for your time today. So. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you.